Welcome to Panther Sports, your one-stop shop for all things athletic at High Point University. I'm your host, Travis Woody. As you mentioned in last week's show, the High Point University baseball team was riding a three-game winning streak down to UNC Charlotte last Tuesday to take on the 49ers. After giving up some early runs, High Point had to battle from behind if they hoped to continue their winning ways. HBU starter Jared Avedon was lit up for five runs in the first inning, but settled down for his remaining three and a third. Luckily, the Panthers were strong offensively, and by the sixth inning, High Point had tied the game at five. In the seventh inning, High Point would take the lead on a Ryan Rush double down the left field line. The Panthers would extend their lead to 9-5 to five with RBIs from Josh Spano, Andrew Bartlett, and Dane McDermott. This would be all that Joe Goodman would need to record the win on the mound for the Panthers and improve to 5-0 and on the season. The 9-5 victory gave High Point its 20th win on the season, marking the best start in the Panthers Division I baseball history. The next day, High Point hosted the Aggies of North Carolina A&T University, and on a rainy night at Willard Stadium, the Panthers struggled on the mound. Though the game was tied at three each in the third inning, the Aggies were offensively zoned in and would put up seven runs in the rain-delayed contest, and despite a late Panther rally in the eighth inning, A&T would hold on to break the Panther winning streak with a 7-5 victory. Looking to get back on track, High Point would start a three-game series with Radford this past Friday. On what would prove to be a record-setting night, High Point's Ryan Retz went five and a third innings on the mound, allowing only two runs on six hits. Retz tied his career high with eight strikeouts. The combined pitching efforts of, John, of Retz, Joe Goodman, and Jamie Schultz would result in 17 total strikeouts, a new HPU Division I record. Senior Sal Pizzino went three for four from the plate, and junior Sean Wilson went one for three with two runs scored. High Point would win the contest four to two. Jamie Schultz would earn his sixth save of the season, tying him with Dennis Ollie for eighth in the HPU record books for saves in a season. Ollie recorded his six saves in 1972. The following day, High Point and Radford played a doubleheader at Willard Stadium, and in game one, High Point would be outpitched by Highlander starter Tyler Costello. Radford got to High Point starter Matt Armstead early and knocked him out after only three and two-thirds innings. The Panthers were led offensively by Sal Pizzino, who went three for five with a run scored, and by Sean Wilson, who went two for four. But the Highlanders were just too strong and won game two of the series eight to three. Game three of the series was also the second game of the doubleheader. Unfortunately, the day belonged to the Highlanders. High Point starter Jacob Newberry allowed six runs, four of them earned in his five innings of work on the mound. Radford would push across four more before the game was over and would hand High Point a 10-4 loss. There were some positives to take from the game, however. Sal Pizzino, Ryan Retz, and Dane McDermott all went two for four from the plate and Sal Pizzino's two hits extended his hitting streak to 12 games. High Point's next game is Friday as they host Presbyterian College. First pitch is scheduled for 6 p.m. We're going to take a short break, but when we return, we'll update you on both men's and women's golf, as well as discuss how the Lady Panthers lacrosse team fared this past weekend. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to my block party. Glad you can make it. The only triple doubles you get come with fries. Last time you blocked someone, you were online. I can do this all day. Your moves are just gay. <laughs> Using gay to mean dumb or stupid, not cool. Not cool. Not in my house, not anywhere. It's not creative, it's offensive to gay people. And you're better than that. Welcome back to Panther Sports. On last week's show, we sat down with Greer Bennett of the women's golf team. She told us that she would be pulling for a little known golfer named Bubba Watson in this year's Masters Tournament. Lo and behold, Bubba pulled out the win in an exciting two-hole tiebreaker. High Point's women's golf team is in the middle of their Masters Tournament right now at the Patriot Golf Club in 96 South Carolina, where the Big South Conference Tournament is being held. After the first round yesterday, Lady, Pan Lady Panthers found themselves in sixth place. Freshman Greer Bennett led the Panthers by shooting a 76 
to tie her for 10th overall. Hypo University men's golf team is currently in fifth place out of 18 teams after two rounds at the Coca-Cola Invitational in Spartanburg, South Carolina. The Panthers posted an even par score through two rounds, led by junior Chase Wilson. Wilson is in a tie for fifth place overall after carding a four under 140 through 36 holes. Panther teammate Charles Veluzzo shot an even par through two rounds to place him in a tie for 20th overall. Today is the third and final round of the Coca-Cola Invitational. Transitioning now to women's lacrosse, the Lady Panthers are coasting along on a four-game winning streak and hope to continue that run with a win over Presbyterian College last Saturday. Behind the leadership of Grace Gang and Mackenzie Carroll, the Lady Panthers roared past PC in a big fashion. Gang and Carroll each posted three goals and three assists in the contest. Sophomore Kelsey Mugel added the Panthers' cause with two goals and three assists of her own. The Lady Panthers continued their winning streak with a 17-4 victory. High Point starts a tough road trip tomorrow as they travel to Durham to face the sixth place Blue Devils of Duke University and then head north over the weekend to take on Howard on Friday and Detroit on Sunday. The Lady Panthers are now 2-0 in National Lacrosse Conference play and are 8-2 overall. After this short break, we'll see which Panther athlete is making a name for herself and the university with not only her sport, but also her academics. We'll be right back. At High Point University, every student receives an extraordinary education and an inspiring environment with caring people. Cutting edge academic programs are matched with state of the art living. The transformation of this institution has tripled its size and it has attracted national attention. Students learn and live in a beautiful 300-acre campus. That's High Point University. Extraordinary. High Point University strives to instill quality learning habits in its students and enjoys their academic success as much as anything. In the world of sports, we sometimes need a reminder that one's education is more important than their stats. It is refreshing to find student athletes who compete as hard in the classroom as they do on the field. Yesterday, High Point University women's golfer Margaret Suchine was named a member of the 2011-2012 Big South All-Academic Team. Suchan, a business major with a 3.72 grade point average, was a 2011 National Golf Association Academic All-American as well. We at Panther Sports would like to congratulate Margaret on a job well done and wish you the best of luck as the Lady Panthers compete in the Big South Conference Championship. That's all the time we have for today's show. Be sure to tune in next time to keep up to date on all of your High Point University athletics. Good night.